Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my review and three looks on the Colourpop Inner Trance eyeshadow palette. This is one out of three of their tie-dye collection. So I'm going to be doing a video on each of the three palettes and you guys voted for Inner Trance to be first. So here we are. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my swatches, my comparisons, and then you guys will see my three looks towards the end of the video. So if you guys are interested in all of that, then just continue watching. So let's first start off with with some product info. This is one of their nine pan eyeshadow palettes in the plastic packaging, so it's 12 US dollars. And like I mentioned in the beginning, this is one out of three of their tie-dye collection palettes. So when you open it up, this is what the palette looks like. You will be getting three mattes, two satins, two metallics, one super shock shadow, and one pressed glitter. So in this little palette, you pretty much have all of the eyeshadow formulations that ColourPop has to offer, which is pretty great. And I actually I actually like the variety of the different formulations. I think it gives different dimensions and different vibes to each look. And when I first saw this palette, it gave me Judy from Animal Crossing vibes and also BTS Love Yourself album cover vibe, that sort of colorway. I actually think it's a pretty unique color story. Um, I feel like we have seen these sort of shades in different palettes. Like we've seen the blue in the Blue Moon, the purples in the Lilac You A Lot. But together, this color story, I think it's really pretty and pastels are so in right now and I'm loving pastels even though it's freezing in New Zealand we're in winter I'm loving pastels and it's just really fun to play with so I think the color story was really fun and I think it's pretty approachable if you're not really sure on how to pair colorful shadows this palette is already giving it to you I think the blue the purple and the pink is a really easy color combo to pair with so I think even for a beginner I think you would like it I think it's pretty approachable and you get to play around with different formulations I would say that they're satin shadow so they're satin shadow pretty much is a matte shadow but it has little specks of glitters in it so the two satin shadows is transcend dance and daydream baby usually with these shadows I don't really mind them as much I would have preferred if they would just keep it to a matte but these shadows I've noticed a difference in them usually when you apply these shadows those little specks of glitters they just disappear they just fly away when you apply them on your eyes and that's what usually happens but I noticed with these two shadows the glitters are more obvious they don't just fly away they actually appear on your eyes and there is fallout with it you could easily dust away that fallout and I think the fallout it kind of adds to the vibe of this palette like I wouldn't mind a bit of glitter fallout on my cheeks when I'm wearing an eye look like this you know what I mean but that was a difference that I noticed in that satin formulation is that the glitters are much more obvious they don't fly away they are visible and you will get fallout with that so just keep that in mind I'm not sure if that's really a big deal and also I want to talk about the pressed glitter because usually I'm just like so so with the glitter I like the glitters but sometimes there's a little bit too many sometimes I feel like it's not necessary when it comes to certain palettes because it doesn't suit the vibe but the glitter in this palette is just perfect and it definitely suits the vibe of this palette. I think first off the glitter just complements all of the metallics and all of the eyeshadow so well because it has purple, blue and pink flip to it so it really just enhances the eye look. I ended up using it in all three looks. I'm sorry you guys I know glitter is controversial but when I'm wearing pastel looks I don't know why I want to play with glitter because it makes it look more I don't know girly. So I think color choice I'm really happy with it and the three looks looks that I did I feel like they sort of look a little bit different from each other the first look was a little bit more pinky purple the second look was a little bit of both and the third look that I'm currently wearing is a little bit more like on the blue side so I feel like they all have their own different vibe and they all look a little bit different from each other and I think that's great because it's a nine pan palette there's only so much you can do with nine eyeshadows and I think the variety is there so overall I really enjoyed playing with this palette I thought it was fun I loved all three looks and it's definitely a palette that I can see myself going back to but I think the big question a lot of you guys will be asking is how does this compare to Blue Moon to Light Like You A Lot how does it compare to any of their other monochromatic palettes so here is my take on it. I definitely see strong hints of Blue Moon and Lilac You A Lot and I think if you already have those two palettes 
Maybe you don't really need this palette because I feel like you could create very similar looks with it. It's not going to be the same. They're not dupes. You guys are probably going to see my comparisons on the screen. I'm going to find comparisons for each shade um, so you guys can get like a palette comparison. And then later on, I'll show you shade by shade comparisons. So if you have any of these palettes that's on the screen right now, you don't really need this palette. But I feel like if you don't have any of those palettes and you are on the budget and you just want a pretty pastel colorful palette, then and this probably would be ideal for you because you get little hints of all of those palettes into one. So I think it really depends what you already have. And for someone like me that already has those palettes and having in a trance as well, I don't mind that I have this one. I, I feel like it gives me like a different color option. And I really do think there are some unique shades in here. So definitely I'll still be able to use this palette as well as my other monochromatic palettes. So that's just sort of my take on it. Um, with my reviews always, it's just up to you. I don't know what you guys have your collection that is just my thought process all right you guys so that was pretty much my review and my palette comparison done we can now move into the shade by shade comparisons and my three looks Starting off with the first look, I'm going to go in with the shade Daydream Baby and this is going to be our transition shadow. So I'm just going to work this into my crease using windshield wiping motions to get this blended out. You can see I'm just washing this all over my lid, up to my brow bone and also to the outer corners. I'm also going to bring this onto my lower lash line as well, just sweeping that from left to right and making sure we are connecting the shadows at the outer corner. Then I'm going to go into the shade up level and I'm going to start picking this onto my lid space. The tone of this is pretty similar to Daydream Baby so it's not going to really deepen out the look. It's just going to change the color ever so slightly to more of like a purple tone. But I'm just going to put that all over my lid and then slowly blend that up into the transition shadow. I also wash this all over my lower lash line as well just layering it on top of Daydream Baby. Next, I'm going into the shade Mind's Eye and I'm going to place this right at the center of my lid. This is the highest point of your eye, so this is where the light is going to pick up and placing a metallic shadow right at the center is really going to just make your eyes shimmer a little bit more. So just placing that at the center and diffusing the edges out so that way it doesn't look like a little stripe on your eyes. I also take that onto my lower lash line as well, but also just at the center, aligning it with the shadow on top. And then going into the shade All Aura again, I'm going to place that right on top of Mind's Eye. Since this is a press glitter, it's just going to add a little bit more dimension to the metallic. And I'm just using a little bit of this. I just want this to sparkle throughout the eye look. So I'm not going to place too much, but enough where it can catch the light and just glimmer. And you might have guessed it, I am taking that onto my lower lash line as well, but only at the center. And then I'm going to go into eyeliner. I'm taking the ColourPop Cream Dry Liner in the shade Charmer. I'm going to use this to tight line my upper waterline and also to line my lash line and also create a wing. I do go in with a thin angled brush to help smudge out and smoke out my little baby wing. And then I'm just going to prep my lashes by giving them a good curl, applying some mascara. The mascara I'm using today is from Fenty Beauty. It's their Full Frontal Mascara. And then for my lashes, I am applying the House of Lashes Iconic Light. 
Alright you guys, so this is the first look completed. This look is definitely pulling towards the lilac and purple side of the palette. But I really liked how it turned out. I like how the glitters sparkle through. The tones definitely remind me of like a fairy princess look. So yeah, I really enjoyed how it turned out. Hopefully you guys like it too. But for my lip pairing, I am wearing the Colourpop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Keep It Coy as a base. And then I applied the Luxe Gloss in the shade Figgy with it on top of that and that is my lip combo. Alright, so now on to the second look. I'm going to start off with the shade Transcend Dance. I'm just going to work the shadow at the outer corners of our eyes. I'm going to use circular motions to get this blended out. You can see that I am blending it quite high up into my crease and I'm also taking it out into a cat eye shape. I'm also going to take this shadow onto my lower lash line as well, just at the outer corner. We only want to keep this blue at the outer corner, so just focus it at that area. Then taking the shade Own Your Power, I'm going to apply this at the center of my eyes, blending that into the pastel blue. Own Your Power is like a periwinkle bluey purple, so it's going to blend really well into the pastel blue. So you just want to stamp that on and then use windshield wiping motions to get that blended. And you're also going to repeat that onto your lower lash line as well. Just going to stamp that on at the center. Now I am taking Daydream Baby and I'm going to place that at the inner third of my eyes doing exactly the same thing. I'm just using a fluffy brush, using windshield wiping motions to get that diffuse and blended well into the other colors. I do take the shade into my inner corners as well but I'm also going to take that onto my lower lash line right at the inner corner. So pretty much whatever you do on your top lid you're going to repeat that on your lower lash line. Now taking the shade Crown Chakra, I'm going to place that right on top of Daydream Baby. I am using this shadow wet um, just to get the most metallic high shine and we're just going to place that on top so it's going to give our eye look a bit of shimmer and glimmer. Now I'm going into Clarity and I'm using this one dry. This one is a super shock shadow, but I'm just going to place this right on top of Own Your Power, which was the periwinkle, so right at the center. I'm mainly just using Clarity for the little blue reflex that it has. It's very subtle, so I feel like, again, it really adds a nice glimmer, sparkly touch to the eye look. Then I'm going to go into All Aura again. I couldn't help myself, you guys. I'm taking the press glitter and I'm going to place that right at the center of my eyes. I'm going to focus a lot of this on my lower lash line at the middle. I don't know. I just wanted a little bit more sparkle to this eye look. So I went in with the glitter and I feel like I really did complete the eye look. I'm now taking the Colourpop BFF liquid liner in the shade Crazy and this is the dark navy shade. I'm going to use this to line my lash line and create a little wing. I'm also going to use the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Exit to tight line my bottom waterline and this is going to help open up our eyes. Now I am just prepping my lashes by giving them a good curl, applying some mascara, which is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. But for my lashes, I'm going to wear Petite Cosmetics Lash in the Style Cheeky. And this, you guys, is the second look completed. I hope you guys like it. I've been doing this technique a lot recently. I think it's a good way to incorporate multiple colors and just do like a very fun, bright look. So I really liked how it turned out. It gives me Judy from Animal Crossing vibes. But for my lip pairing, I just went with the Colourpop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Keep It Coy.
So now we're on to the final look and I'm gonna start off with the shade Future Self and this is going to be our transition shadow. I'm just going to work that into my crease using windshield wiping motions and just really blow this shadow out. It's going to also work as our base color. So I'm gonna blend that up towards my brow bone and also take that out towards the outer corners. I'm then going into Transcend Dance and this is going at the outer corners of our eyes. I'm just going to stamp on the shadow there and then slowly start blending that out into the transition shadow. Because we're layering it on top of a blue, it's going to blend very seamless and it's going to look very smooth. And I'm also going to take this onto my lower lash line as well. I'm mainly going to focus the product at the outer third but then I'll bring what is there left on my brush to the inner corner. Then I'm going into Clarity and I'm going to place this at the inner third of my eyes. For some reason, placing this on on top of the pastel blue, it does look a little bit patchy for some reason. It's like picking up the shadow underneath and taking it off. I don't know if it's the shadow or if it's my eye primer, but I'm trying to make it work here. Yeah. Then I'm going to go into All Aura again and I'm going to place that right on top of Clarity. This is just going to give more dimension and it's also going to cover up that little patchiness that was happening. And I think overall from far away you can't really see uh, the creases but it definitely does bother me a little bit so excuse that. I do take this glitter into my inner corners and I also take that onto my lower lash line as well just right at the inner third. And now I am taking Daydream Baby and I'm going to put this at the center of my eyes. I felt like this eye look was looking a little bit too blue. I wanted a bit of like purple and pink in it. So I placed this right at the center and when you're layering this on top of a blue, it does turn into a really pretty lavender shade. So that worked out and it looks super pretty and I feel like it does really complement the eye look and it makes it look a little bit different. I also take that onto my lower lash line as well, but just at the center so just mimicking what we did on our lids. Then I'm taking the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Besto and I'm going to use this to tight line my lash line and also line my lash line as well to create a smoky soft baby wing. I think for an eye look like this, something a little bit more subtle other than a black works perfectly and it ties in the monochromaticness. Alright you guys, so this is the final look completed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I personally really liked how this turned out besides the little creasing situation that we had. I'm gonna figure that out and why that happened, but if that wasn't there, honestly, I love this look. I feel like it just gives me mermaid vibes. I feel like every look gives me a different vibe, but this final look gives me mermaid vibes and I feel like you guys definitely could wear this eye look for Halloween or I don't know, just whenever you guys would want to, honestly. Um, it's so fun and it's so glittery. I love the glitters. It's just so mesmerizing. So I really liked how this look turned out. I hope you guys like it too. So that you guys was my three looks. Be sure to let me know which look out of the three was your favorite down below. I am going to be reviewing the other two tie-dye palettes very soon. And the next one is going to be Miss Bliss because that's what you guys have voted for. If you guys want to be included in my upload schedule, I do do polls like every now and again. It's on my community tab page. So just keep an eye out on that. And I really follow what you guys want to see. So definitely if you guys want to be more included, go to my community page to help vote. Um, it really does help me out as well. But yeah, you guys, that is going to complete today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. I would appreciate it so much if you did. Also helps out with the algorithm as well. So that's always helpful. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!